let's take a look back at our favorite films from the past 10 years of the CSD Film Festival, starting with our very first year. This march was our 65 mile forced march. They didn't distribute any food or any water, and uh, these men, a lot of them were so weak, they'd go along so far and they'd just drop down on the side of the road because they couldn't go any further. So he decided right there that he was going to forgive everything and everybody that did anything to him. The second annual CSD Film Festival was the year the Falcon Report from Sprucewood Elementary made its festival debut. Hi, I'm Sabrina. Hi, I'm Drew. And today we, we are doing the Falcon Report. Hi, I'm Sabrina with the Falcon Report, and I'm here with Diane and Sabrina and Brianna I need. <laughs> and we're here to talk about Mother Goose Day coming up. So what is it? See you next time on the Falcon Report! Yeah! Bye. The third annual festival, we were all amazed by the work of Hillcrest High School students when they submitted one of our all-time favorite films, The Crime, taking the festival to a whole new level. Remember, look both ways before crossing the street. At the fourth annual festival, we couldn't stop laughing at Survivor Mans. This film remains one of our favorite elementary submissions. Here we are in, se in the central Utah wilderness. We have nothing to survive but ourselves. These are an excellent source to hold in your heat. They're made out of a flexible fabric-like material that holds in heat very well. One way for you to tell the time in the wilderness is to hold your hand out straight. Then you point this hand towards the sun. However many fingers you're holding up is the time. So it's roughly about 5 p.m. right now. I'm Bear Grylls. And this is Wolf Ovens. And we'll see you next time on Survivor Man's. In our fifth year, we were inspired by Burrito Project SLC, one of our festival's finest films. My name is Jorge Fierro. I started Burrito Project SLC last year with a couple of friends of mine. I once, when I came from Mexico, was homeless. One of the things that I noticed is that I always found someone to feed me. And ever since, I, I, I've been always thinking, how can I pay it forward? Eventually, Fierro would go on to create his own multi-million dollar corporation, open up a gourmet Mexican restaurant, and finally establish the frameworks for his own nonprofit charity. And around five o'clock, a group of volunteers comes in and it starts rolling burritos. Half an hour after the rolling begins, another group of volunteers arrives, this time to deliver the burritos. The Burrito Project is such a unique humanitarian effort because anybody can directly participate to make a difference. You don't need to be rich. The only thing you need to do is donate some of your time. We loved the creativity of the films submitted to the sixth annual CSD Film Festival, including Penny Power. The seventh annual festival brings back delightfully spooky memories. It was the year of horror films, including Rotten Apples. The family needs all the fun that Charlie Chaplin pain. And where's the funny looking ball that on his little brain? They're absolutely...
The film festival would not be what it is today without Wade Harmon. He directed the first two festivals, then continued to inspire filmmakers. His commitment to education is beautifully captured in this film from the 8th annual CSD Film Festival. What I do for a living, I wouldn't change at all. I'm always thankful. Every workday I get to go and experience the vitality of a classroom. Knowing your stuff is just the beginning of teaching. We have to turn it into learning that is both accessible and engaging for every student. And when learning doesn't happen for some, we have to figure out why and come up with a new plan. Thank goodness for Saturday mornings. Audiences at the 9th Annual Festival enjoyed the humorous Old Man Tries to Get the News. Hi, I'm Liam. And I'm Coco. We are student filmmakers from Canyon School District. And do you know this year is the 10th anniversary of the Canyon School District Film Festival? Woohoo! Happy anniversary, CSD Film Festival. It's been so fun to be able to be in charge of the festival for so many years. One of my favorite things is to watch students who begin making films in elementary school then continue on and improve in middle school and high school and even beyond. Um, I love watching the students as they're excited to show everyone the work that they've created. So here's to another 10 years. The 10th anniversary of the film festival. Wow, it seems like only yesterday I was sitting at home spray painting film tins, old film tins, with uh, gold spray paint. I love the film festival. Love having been a part of originating the film festival and still a part of it. Congratulations, Canyon School District, on your 10th annual film festival. Canyon District Film Festival, congratulations on 10 years. We'll see you on Monday night for the awards ceremony. Looking forward to it. Congratulations on 10. Hope you're around for many, many more. Canyon School District Film Festival, 10 years. A full decade of supporting our aspiring young filmmakers in our district. I cannot wait until this Monday to see what our young filmmakers have in store for us. It's gonna be amazing. And thank you, Canyon School District Film Festival for highlighting all of the work these kids do. excited to say congratulations to the Canyon School District who this year is celebrating the 10th anniversary of their film festival. We always enjoy airing all the entries on UVN TV and can't wait to see this year's entries. Congratulations, congratulations Canyon School District! District. Hey CSD Film Festival, happy 10 year anniversary. This is Taylor Sampson. I have been a part of CSD Film Festival since the second year when I won the Falcon Report with Sprucewood Elementary. And it's so crazy to think that's already been 10 years and I am just so thankful for CSD Film Festival for helping me achieve my goals and find my new passion. 10 years later, I am a sophomore at Utah State and I'm studying digital media marketing and I'm actually filming a wedding today. So I'm still doing videography and it's so crazy to think I started here at CSD Film Festival. I'm so excited that you guys are celebrating 10 years. So, happy 10 year anniversary. Hey, Canyon School District Film Festival. Wow, 10 whole years. That is wild, that's crazy. When I saw that, I was like, what? It's already been 10 years? 
Anyways, I am so glad you guys are still at it, still growing this. It's such a good opportunity for students to learn storytelling, to learn filmmaking at such a young age. I've only seen it help me as I progress in my career and I hope to continue to see you guys like grow and thanks for the tweet and I hope that it goes well on Monday. See ya. Happy 10th anniversary, Canyon School District Film Festival. It's uh, always exciting to celebrate 10 years, isn't it? I think that's the, um, the Silly Putty anniversary. I can't remember what gift you're supposed to get, but uh, whatever you get, I hope it's well received and certainly well deserved. You got me. I, I crumbled. Happy 10th anniversary. Hi, I'm Will from Random Acts, and I want to wish CSD Film Festival a happy 10th year anniversary. You guys are awesome. 10 years of making awesome movies and having a lot of fun. I wish I could be there with you tonight, but I can't, so I send my love instead. Have a great time, guys. Congratulations. Ha 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 ha, you're welcome. Happy 10th anniversary to CSD Film Festival. 10 years. A full decade. Congratulations on 10 years. Congratulations, Canyon School District, on your 10th annual film festival. 10 whole years. That is wild. Congratulations, Canyon School District. Happy 10 year anniversary. Happy 10th anniversary. I want to wish CSD Film Festival a happy 10th year anniversary. Happy anniversary, CSD Film Festival. Happy 10th Anniversary, CSD Film Festival!